Cheap, Mike's GuitarLessons.com. And uh, this is going to be the first video for What If I Told You by Jason Walker. Uh, this is a request from one of my members at Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. They wanted to see if I would uh, teach this song to them. And it's not actually played on guitar, it's uh, played on piano. Uh, but what, we, what I've done is just figured out, figured out the chords and we're just going to play it on guitar using uh, a few chords that most of you probably know if you've been playing guitar very long. Um, it's going to be the D chord, the A chord, and the E chord. And that's going to take care of us for the intro and the verse, and that's what I'm going to teach you in this uh, video. Now, you can either strum, you know, strum this uh, chord for this song, or you can finger pick it. However you want to do it, um, it's kind of up to you. But um, I t because of the way it's played on piano, I tend to like to kind of finger pick it. Uh, I pluck the entire chord and then kind of uh, do a partial of the chord. It's kind of like... Uh Let's get that out of the way uh, first. Let's uh, go over these chords. Now, if you don't know how to play the D chord, this is not going to be a big, uh, long discussion on how to play these chords. But quickly, the D chord is 2nd fret on the skinny E string, 3rd fret on the B string, 2nd fret on the G, and then open on the D string. If you want to have the A in there, it's okay. Uh, but you definitely don't want the thick E string in there, so mute that if you're going to be strumming. Um, the second chord we get to is the A chord. Okay. Now the correct way to play it is actually just to have your first finger on the G in the 2nd fret, your 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the B string, and your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D string. Play 5 strings. Um, but as you probably saw me in the, first, in the clip before this, I'm just using my first finger to hold down the, uh, a, or, sorry, the uh, D string, G, and B string the second fret. I play the A string open and I just don't play the skinny string or the thick one. So there's our A chord and then the E chord which you probably all know as well. Uh, open on the E string, second on the A, second on the D, first on the G, open on the B, and open on the E. Okay now um, we're going to start off just playing our D chord and uh, the chord progression for the intro and the verse, they're kind of the same, is going to be D, then the A, then back to D, then A, and then E. Okay? So if you're playing through it, you're going to play this. switch to that E is the one thing I want to point out. Um, you play this chord progression three times at the beginning before you get to the chorus. So um, they, he switches to that last E chord at different times though. The first time you go through that chord progression, you're going, you're going to do it to symmetrical or on time. So what I mean by that is um, your A chord is the same length as the E chord, that, that A to the E at the end of the chord progression where you're going. If you're strumming it, it's going to sound this. Okay? So the first time you play through the chord progression, it's going to go like this. second and third time you go through that chord progression, you're actually going to switch to the E a little bit late. You're going to stay on that A chord uh, just a little bit longer, and so the E kind of only gets one of these. Okay? So the second and third time you go through the chord progression, it's going to be more like this. That's your third time to uh, go through the uh, chord progression. You're going to switch to the chorus right there. So um, you've actually got all the chords you need for the song, but um, I, I didn't time this, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the next video to, to teach you the chorus. But um, the song's pretty simple. So if you're kind of a beginner and you're uh, just learning some of these open position chords, 
um, this might be a good one for you to do. So uh, if you want to check out the other videos, you can go to www.mikesguitarlessons.com. Um, I have a lot of videos on my sample lessons page. You can also go to Facebook and join my Facebook group. It's just called Mike's Guitar Lessons. And um, oh, you can also follow me on Twitter. It's at Mike's Guitar is uh, how you can follow me on Twitter. So uh, 